for you 4 p.m. local time. That's uh, pretty much an hour and 45 minutes away from now. And we're down at the Carolina Marin Stadium here in Fuelva. And this is how the matches have unfolded. All of the senior seeds coming through comfortably. Taitsu Ying, Kami Yamaguchi, Obranukro and Tavatamachai, and then Chen and Jia all safely home for a berth in tomorrow's finals of their respective events. Now then, it's time for another, the second mixed doubles offering in our fifth and final match of session one. Of course, there'll be a second session, so do stay with us for that at four o'clock. But this one is between Watanabe and Higashino, and in their way are uh, Kyohei Yash Yamashita and Shinoya. Here they come, Japanese leading the way. What a week they've had so far. Really good effort for the unseeded pair from Japan. In what's been a really loaded draw, they've done really well to get here. And here are the familiar faces of the left-handed Yuta Watanabe and Arisa Higashino. It's a first meeting, this one. The world number 53 pair, Yashimi, Yamashita and Shinoya. It's Watanabe and Higashino. The third seeds are ranked four in the world. And, uh, well, they're just so inspired, aren't they? We've got Japanese pairs in all of the doubles disciplines coming out of the woodwork all over the place. Just linked to the coin toss. Red, your choice. We see who's serving. Now who to serve? Who is this leaving? Alisa, which end? Which end? On my left. Okay, have a good match. Okay. So the ranking underdogs then, electing to take the far end. based on the fact that uh, Watanabe and Higashino, they won the toss yes. to receive. Yes. So the warm-up begins. The winner of this one will play. The second seeds have come through the bottom of the draw, Dutch upon Pabranukro and Satsuri Taratanachai. Naru Shinoya, 27 years of age, from Aichi. And they're off that career high ranking with her partner. Kiho Ki Kiyohei Yamashita, who is four years her junior, 1 meter 66, rank 53, from Okayama in Japan. Won three tour matches this year, lost three, so no great shakes there. And they're run through. Tested all the way, long three game affairs for the walkover against Fogarty and Jean. The, uh, down Ellison Smith, of course, the six seeds from England. Good win there, Aaron 12. That was their opening on court encounter. Then they beat Tavaling and Selena Peak. As we take a look at uh, Watanabe, the dangerous explosive left-hander. And uh, well, just one spot off of their career high of three in the world, these two. back in January of 2020 play. and Arisa Higashino, a year older, and she played really well yesterday in their quarter-final match against Kaneko and Matsutomo, very, very electric around the net. And, uh, well, when they're on, as they normally are, they're just something to behold more now, they're just so fast, twinning so beautifully together. They are, they play really well. Uh, 
my main concern sometimes is that the uh, the pressure from the back from uh, Watanabe is uh, is not that strong. Uh, he's got this beautiful block shot from the black, where he's now upsetting uh, the formations of of the opponent and all that. But I like you know if he had a little bit more pressure from the back, I think that would help him mm. a lot. Mm. So, but you know it's a very very good pair. They are definitely favourites to win this one here. Yeah. And then let's see what happens tomorrow. Yeah. First meeting. They'll probably be familiar with their opponents, won't they? Maybe perhaps um, not in the same team. No, no but, uh, exactly. Yeah. If they're not in the same team. Mm. So it's going to be interesting to see how Yamashita and Shinoya sort of settle in this one. Yeah, they beat three European pairs mm. on the way. Yeah, Russians. Remin and Dimova. Yeah, but they were very lucky on that one. They were 19-16 down in the final game before they turned it around. And I can tell you that the two Ladies Russian and gentlemen, players were devastated on my right, not winning that Yuta one. Yuta Watanabe and Arisa Higashino, Japan. Yeah, it was Alimov and Davletova, beg your pardon. That's right. Aaron and on my left. Finished late Jorge this time. Yamashita and Namu Shinoya, Japan. <laughs> Namu Shinoya to serve to Arisa Higashino. Lavo, play. Pace from Watanabe to get the scoreboard moving. Yeah, good interception from uh, Higashino. This is definitely where there should be a very, very big difference between the two pairs it's at the front of the court with Higashino completely dominating that front court against her opponent, uh, Naru Shinoya. But let's see. from Watanabe again just buckling their opponents just love watching him glide around the court he's just like a bottle of champagne just opened he's full of life everywhere yeah, he's very very quick and uh, yeah. of course so skillful I, I just pointed out that his attack is probably not the strongest in the world, but of course he's got so many other things to compensate for that. That's what you were talking about right there, wasn't it? That stunning drop shot that we always just start salivating over more. It's so good, isn't it? It is. That just tears any <laughs> any defence apart. Yes. Oh, that's nice. Good little response there from Yamashita.
perhaps possible pressure on Watanabe Higashino on the basis that they are, you know, the expectations on them, that, you know, ranking is in a different planet compared to the other two. Yeah, but I, I think that they also have the game to prove it, so I, I think they will come through, I'm not saying in flying colours, but I think they will come through. Good play here from Kure Yamasita. I like the follow-up. This one here is very alert up next to his partner at the net. Well, she had it right where she wanted it. Just mistimed Six. it. Yeah, this one takes a very similar look to their match out on show court two yesterday that I called with Steen. I'm talking about Watanabe and Higashino when they beat Kaneko and Matsutomo. 45 minutes there, 14 and 19 it was, but Watanabe and Higashino just had that extra gear when they really wanted it. Seven. Yeah, it got Four. close in the second game. I, I was yes. watching it yes. uh, corner of my eye. And, yeah. uh, See, it got pretty close in this second game. Oh, that's lucky. Fortune favours the brave, doesn't it? So they say, yeah. lead already in the opening game nine four up nice good work yeah service over you know yeah put that one away very nicely a little bit of disguise into it defense from Marissa Higashino there. Oh, really well played. Seven. A lot of patience yes. there, but good tenacity and aggression. Both pairs. Shinoya and Yamashita, they, I think, controlled the rally most of the way and deserve to win it. Again, didn't, yeah, we see it a lot. 
So it's the third seeds, Watanabe and Higashino, doing what they do best, forging out some sort of slender lead at the interval. 11 7th opening game. So all four players back onto court, fully engaged. Play. So far, I don't think that Yamashita and Shinoya have been able to put enough pressure. Oh, that was a bad serve from uh, Watanabe, but it did not get punished. That's a nice pacey attack there. Isn't it? Yeah, they like to work from the back. This new pair from Japan. Oh, oh, look at that. that. The buckled racket sent it directly downwards, pretty much. That's unlucky, wasn't it? <laughs> well, her racket's okay now, Luke. Yeah, that was very unlucky. Yeah. <laughs> the wrong person running forward. Yes, quite. Good save here. That's the clash. And look at the racket. Yeah, and that's what he did do. <laughs> look at the racket. break off the net but he's so good isn't he Yuto Watanabe at sort of you know setting the shuttle one way and then knowing immediately what the options are and where to move too quickly to take advantage of it yeah, but they they are in control they yeah. they control the um, they have the initiative and yeah. the partnership here in the, in the yellow is forced to defend quite a lot I'd say tangerine orange not yellow. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. Yeah, exactly. That's a male response, isn't it? Whatever. <laughs> you know exactly what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a good shot. I really like that shot from your machine Oh, wow. Yeah. Got it well back. Quite an habit. That's more like it. In the end, they put it to the floor. <laughs> really good point from both pairs.
Cheers. Great drive cross court from Yamashita. Three points in a row. For the world number 53 pair. Very encouraging. That's another one. 12, 15. At this rate, Watanabe Higashino might start getting a little bit tense. their lead evaporate like this. Oh, wow. Normal service resumes with a moment of brilliance from Watanabe there. Kept the attack well. Yeah. Lots of uh, drop shots from the back. One smash and then another block shot. And Naru can't get to it. Yeah. Clever play. Yamashita and Shinoya, I think they found the line here, so they're opting to challenge. Something that will be interesting, though I think a bit of a wasted cause. Let's find out, though. Having said that, they both threw their arms in the air simultaneously. No, 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 it was just wide. Challenge unsuccessful. One challenge remaining. Well, I'm sure he's been inspired by Watanabe over the years, Yamashita, but uh, couldn't uh, duplicate what Yuta does on that occasion. And that's said with the utmost respect, of course, because we all have uh, aspirational figures in our sport. Fabulous. Closing in on the opening game. Yeah, once again we see that uh, Watanabe and Higashino on the attack the whole time in that rally and that is, I have to say it again, it is just makes the difference. And uh, I, I really think that Yamashita and Shinoya needs to go on more on the attack. They're, they're sitting back, they believe in their defence and it's, it's strong, but eventually it's breaking down. Really good so it's on that occasion. 
right on the line. Stays over. Really good turnaround there. They were under 20. a lot of pressure that point. In point 13. So after 18 minutes of action out here on Show Court 1, semi final Saturday, we've got another seven game points in the second mixed doubles semi final. Lift from Matt Higashino. shots do you think Paul? I'm going for it'll end up at 80. 80? Yeah. You? It was actually mine as well it was my guess but I, I go for 70 then. Okay let's find out. Uh, patience paying dividends yeah. for Watanabe Higashino and how long was the rally please? Do we know? 21-13 <laughs> they take the opening game. Third seed's looking good. 20 minutes in the driving seat. Halfway to tomorrow's final. Four players back then to re-engage for game two. Lovely aerial shot of the court there. Good direction as well from Watanabe, choosing to hammer that straight down the line. Morton, you've spoke of that a lot in the past. Yeah, and um, this time it's not only that, but he was placed on the right side, on the forehand side of uh, his opponent, and I think that was, you know, again, great placement. Mm. Yes, again, the pair, the blue, having the initiative completely just waiting for the right opportunity. Two, Must be so hard from their perspective to, you know, having done so well to come in here and then you're right up against the blaze of blue who's just coming at you the whole time. There's very little time to think and make good decisions. 
I think it was a very fine performance when they beat the Russians in the, in the quarter-final. Yep. Um, but there is a, a vast difference between the pairs they've beaten and the pair they play today. At the moment, this seems like yeah, three pairs in, in the world, and that's of course the Thailand pair and the Hong Kong-China pair and then Watanabe and Hikashino. And then on top of that, we of course have the two Chinese pairs, but we don't know really what's happening as we don't see them that lot that, that much anymore. Mm. Yeah, that's great play. <laughs> Good play. Nice rally. Really hotly contested. Zipping away on the scoreboard as well with that. All the answers right now, understandably. They are the world number four pair. Have been up to three in the world. Former All England Open champions, of course. champions but all England champions at Watanabe and Hikashino they won back in 2018 but they actually also won in March this year so they are reigning all England champions and that's how they do it yep they beat another Japanese pair Koneko and Matsutomo yeah that was yesterday's uh, yeah. victims <laughs> yep but that was actually the final of the all England yes, in March right. yeah straight game affair wasn't it it was it was just 21-14, 21-13. Again, great direction with that finish. Good leave from Watanabe. Just spilling over the back line from Nara Shinoya. Right into the strike zone of Higashino, who was so proactive there, looking for that return. Good first and third shot in the rally from these two. Patterns of play they've been working on. Yeah, that's good. Not going down the line on that one, but going across. It's not so easy. She uh, did not expect that. That's wide. They're mixing it up really cleverly now, aren't they? Keeping them guessing, using the whole of their opponent's court so they just don't know where they're going to play to next. And it's uh, tricky for these two to get much of a toehold in game two on that basis. is off now. Yeah. Look at this. It's yeah. really adding on some pressure here from Yuta Watanabe. But weathered the storm well. Yeah. But the 
problem is that Yamashita can't score points from the back of the court. Yeah. There's simply not enough pressure from his attack. He's there, he's quick. Look at this again. Yeah, it's normally coming back, isn't it? To Arissa's delight. And that is disappointment. about it but I would still say that probably only a handful of outright winners from the back of the court from Yamashita and that's simply not enough yeah but, you know we can look back at the match and uh, mm. start counting and all that but just just how I see it mm. Mm. So it's over. and that's a lovely lovely yeah, return into four. that mid-court area very very short and sharp by uh, Watanabe setting up uh, could lead up 11 4. Just inside half an hour or so. They are in the driving seat. sting in their attacks these two against this classy 11, opposing pair the other side of the net all in blue on the right of your picture Everywhere at once. A blue wall, rock solid. And here we see some of this fantastic well, footwork five. from uh, Watanabe. Yeah. Just one leap, and he's yeah. from his base position at the centre of the court all the way to the sideline on his backhand side. Great, great agility. Lovely change up with the serve, the wide one there. Yeah. Well, I'm sure that the 30, underdog Yamashita and Shinoya will go away with plenty to work on and shouldn't be, you know, dispirited because it's been a terrific campaign, the World Championships, for them so far. Oh, it's been fantastic. Really good, hasn't it? And they must keep their chin up, irrespective of the result here. They've done great. But this five. second game is running away pretty quickly. There's the buckled frame from earlier. Twin string going in, some downs different to the uh, crosses. Many people use hybrid strings. What nor wouldn't you really know? I'm not entirely sure. Yeah. Fifteen. Yeah, Five. wonderful placement there mm. from uh, Watanabe again. Yamashita having two chances from the back that he did not make count. Seventeen five. 
it's a very one-sided oh. affair. But the mixed doubles finals tomorrow is going to be a, a great one, I think. Mm. Yeah. Really well left by Shinoya. Six, seven. Yeah, the ties have come through the bottom half. Delighting the seeding committee of the second seeds. And in the absence of the number one seeds, the number three seeds here in your picture look like they're going to be coming through the top half. Oh. Oh. That was a big mistake. Seven, yeah. seven. points a straight can they add to their tally and here we once again saw placement on the forehand side good placement from it what an arbit really well played by Yamashita. I think mm. the way that he managed to yeah. keep Higashino at the back mm. and that delightful little shot to her backhand side really forcing her completely out of court and forcing an error. Well played. Another clash of rackets but this time no damage done. The trouble is the damage is being done on the scoreboard right now. And Watanabe Higashino just two points from victory place in tomorrow's final. <laughs> oh, that's good awareness. That's well spotted. So an abundance of match points then for the third seeds in the mixed doubles. Oh, what a way to seal it. With his signature shot, he really did delight in that one. That was terrific, wasn't it? A bossy performance, totally orchestrating affairs, the third seeds, Yuta Watanabe and Arisa Higashino. The final weapons. Really good showing and just showing why they're the best in Japan in mixed doubles. Keeping the also rounds at bay and just a little humorous moment for the third seeds enjoying their time. And for the world number 53 pairing, just unable to get any real traction in game two. Decent opening game, but what a campaign it's been for them. They'll head back to Japan with their heads held high. They've had three terrific wins, but the moment belonging to Watanabe and Higashino. The 24, 25 year old, what a performance there. They owned the court today. Really very, very good. They'll play Porvanukro and Terra Tanachai in tomorrow's final. A very stylish showing. Confirmation of the scoreline, 13 and eight, 36 minutes, all they needed. Half walks. Yamashita with that broken frame, but it's been a great world championships for the world number 53 pairing. Watanabe and Higashino salute their fans, and this is how the results unfurled in session one. We'll do it all again at two at uh, four o'clock.
Tatsu Ying coming through in 57 minutes against He Bing Zhao. Really good showing in games one and three from the world's very best. Akane Yamaguchi as well, just managing to get over the line in straight games against Zhang Yaman. What a player to watch from the future. She is worth 46 in the world. And then in mixed doubles, the second seeds, world number ones right now, Favre Nukro and Tela Tanachai, needing just over an hour and three close games to down Tang and Si. Four missed doubles, Chen Chi Chen and Xie Yifan as top seeds, taking out the defending women's doubles champions. Matsumoto and Nagahara and then Watanabe and Higashino just too good for Yamashita and Shinoya. So that rounds out our coverage on session one. Thanks for your company from uh, Morton Frost and Paul Hand. We bid you farewell. Jill Clark and Steve Patterson will take you through session two in an hour exactly. Do join them for that four o'clock coverage with five more great semi-finals to unfold. Bye for now. <laughs>